Hook and Paddle to me is a, a community of multi-species anglers. You feel their passion for this sport. We've surrounded ourselves with great people with, with fantastic abilities and talents. I don't think there's anyone on our crew who's not excited about it. Come to a corner of the world that is kind of a hidden gem in New Brunswick. Kayak fishing, now that's something different. We really wanted the quality to be on par with everything else that we saw on network TV. We didn't want to start off small and make something that we weren't going to be proud of. Even when we showed up to shoot, we're there, first thing on site, cameras are ready to roll. We're trying to rig up cameras on boats. 50K plus camera equipment sitting there that we're, that we're strapping to the bow of a boat. These guys are like, oh, it's fine. And there's cameras being mounted on kayaks and I'm, I'm holding a camera trying to figure out where I have to be, who I have to look at. You can't just go out with one camera. You can't just rely on action cameras. You can't just rely on um, a drone. Like there's so many different pieces to this that I think a lot of people don't necessarily see when they think about a TV show. If you think about how many cameras we actually have, and at this past season we had at least 11, and that's including on-boat footage, so there's cameras that are constantly rolling the entire time. You know, they see all the shots that they want to see that gets carefully picked in the edit, but they don't actually see the whole, the whole thing from start to finish and everything that goes on behind the scenes, right? My wife did not see me for like three months because I didn't leave my office until two o'clock in the morning because it's just like mountains of footage to go through, making sure that we don't miss things. I heard there was a big bass caught too, huh? Uh, Greg caught a 25 inch one. No. 25 no inches. Yeah, not kidding you. He, Gary was here, the boat watched them, they filmed them. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh that's awesome to have. Absolutely, it. totally thrilled for him. That's I, gonna be a New Brunswick record this year. Well, there was another guy uh, that said he landed a, a 28. Smallmouth. 28 inches. I've never heard of that. No, I can't. Is that in the record book? I, I'd have to see that to believe that one. If it's six inches past 22, I'll believe that. Absolutely insane. You know, a lot of people, even from around here, think we can't do that. We're just this small little corner of the planet. We can't compete with the Toronto. We can't compete with the LA. We can't compete with the Vancouver. I don't think that's true. I think we've done an awesome job at really putting together something that's quality, that showcases who we are, that highlights some of the great opportunities that we have here in the province. There's a ton of growth potential here, that the scale could be enormous, but we are on that road and the potential growth of the show, of the guys. There's all kinds of room here. We could have women getting out there, the youth. We had a guy finish fourth that's only 14, 15 years old. So there's all kinds of opportunity for the diversity and who comes and fishes. And like we say in the show, like anybody can enter and anybody can win. Since it started airing on TV, uh, I've noticed a significant growth, not only just in our social media likes, obviously Instagram and Facebook, random people messaging me. They wanna know where and how they can be a part of it. It's a clear uh, upscale or uptick, I guess, in registrations that's gonna happen. I knew that we had momentum. There was more contestants coming, more participants, more people's in kayaks. Uh, more, more towns were reaching out to me saying, we want you to come to our town. We wanna to feature our town. We're getting new contestants, we're getting new participants, and I, I really do think it's because, one, they see it on TV, but two, they wanna get into kayak fishing. It's cheap, it's easy. It's, not, it's one of those things, you don't need a ton of experience, right? If you've ever fished ever, even if you haven't, you know what fishing is, and you can get a worm, and you can come in this series and probably catch a fish. I was using Gas Pro for bait, put on four. I don't know if it was my first cast or my second cast. I cast out and it sort of swung all around and hooked and came back and smacked me in the face. At one point I lost my bump board, my secondary bump board, my net, two pieces of gear all over at the same time. It was a rough day out there. I started not doing great, started catching smallmouth by catching over my shoulder. One smallmouth, two smallmouth, three smallmouth. Hey, that's a real smallmouth. It wraps around my striper lure. It gets caught up in the edge of the net. So I have to sit there and talk to the fish, keep it in the water, everything unhooked, get the fish out. It was nice and polite, took the picture. See you later, thank you much, goodbye. John Kale with a 17.25 inch smallmouth bass. 
TripAdvisor released a study that one in five global travelers choose their destination based on something they've seen in a TV show or a movie. It's a great organic way to showcase the tourism potential for someone to travel to the province. And we're showing them a unique opportunity, something that maybe they haven't tried before and something that they're excited about trying in a way that's not just your typical watch a fishing show, see if someone catches anything, but telling a story and really painting a picture of an experience that you could have. By partnering with the World Fishing Network, we accessed four million households in the United States that came from uh, high income families, people that we know travel and they're very passionate about fishing. The kayak fishing industry is growing and we have a huge opportunity to make New Brunswick the, the staple and really the, the mecca of that world. You know, we have some really good partners that are excited about being a part of this and actually joining us on this journey. There is a, a lot of things in motion right now and I'm very excited to see where this next step leads us. Really looking forward to how this thing scales into a full season and the storytelling that we're gonna to get to do with the guys and with the scenery and the province and all of these sort of things that people from around the world are gonna to get to go like, I wanna go check that out. I wanna fish there. I was showing my friends some of the, the clips I was getting from, from the guys and they're like, I don't know what this is, but I wanna watch it. Like it's so fun to watch bigger and better to reach more people, to see more people enjoy, get sucked into it. We want them to be on that kayak with whoever's fishing, catching that fish, chasing the fish, feeling the disappointment of, of losing a fish. We're in a very unique you know, geographic location where we have salt water, we have fresh water, we have you know, so many species of fish that can be caught and released. Long-term sustainability is huge. There's gonna be so much more content. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you didn't see already, but now hopefully we can get that onto the screen for you.